So with the season five update, we had some adjustments to some of the perks that are currently inside Warzone. And in this video, we're going to be going over what are the best perks to be using after the season five update. If you do enjoy this style of content, don't forget to subscribe as we try to reach our goal of 50k. Click that link and subscribe to our second channel. So the first thing I actually want to show you here is the patch notes themselves. And the reason for that is because we're going to actually see what changed with this update. And there's only two main changes to some of the perks here. So Serpent and battle hardened now first of all serpentine actually got a nerf so the fire damage is no longer decreased when you use serpentine explosive damage is no longer decreased when you use serpentine and players now need to be tactical sprinting for serpentine to be effective in the first place and um, so again this is actually a huge huge change to serpentine in my opinion and the reason for the first two changes is to make eod more viable once again because reducing explosive damage is mainly what eod should be used for but serpentine can also do those so now obviously serpentine would just be for basically bullets essentially then when it comes to the tactical sprinting most people if you do run auto attack sprint this won't be really much of an issue it's mainly for beginners that are using this without having auto attack sprint enabled or people just don't like auto tax sprint but another thing i do want to point out actually is that you need to be tax sprinting so what this means also is that if you're sliding or jumping or doing anything else other than tax sprinting then it won't be effective either so this is actually a bigger nerf than a lot of people actually might think of because most of the time you are going to slide cancel to try and reset your tax sprint you're going to try and do some of these other movements to evade bullets and in that moment in time serpentine will not be active now moving on into battle hardened then we've got flashes and stuns resistance has been increased up to 80 percent uh, from 50 and 70 percent respectively now this is a huge change in my opinion i think especially for stuns um having an 80 percent reduction is massive and this is what this perk actually needed for the longest time to make it viable people felt like that against stuns battle hardened just wasn't good enough and now i do think it's in the perfect place now a quick comparison what i want to do before we move on is i want to compare what's actually being used for equipment inside warzone compared to what changes happened with the perks now the reason why i want to do this is i want to point out some really important things now when it comes to fire damage overall we don't really use the fire bullets not a lot of people actually tend to use that when it comes to the vanguard weapons like incendiary rounds and things like that people will tend to maybe opt for hollow point and lengthened so those are kind of the two more popular perks there when it comes to explosive damage not a lot of people use rpgs in general so i mean explosive damage isn't too much of an issue unless it comes to lethal equipment because that is what most people carry around with them um, and then obviously the tax sprint thing I explained earlier on but when it comes to the actual lethal equipment itself and what serpentine should have been countering before would only technically be semtex here as you can see here semtex is the highest picked lethal equipment when it comes to explosive damage in the game and then next would probably be launchers but no one really uses them as their main primary weapon choices and then secondary to that is throwing knives and obviously throwing knives don't really matter when it comes to explosive damage so of course then serpentine doesn't really matter in this case we do have thermites and frag grenades but they're not really chosen all that much compared to um the other two and then obviously when it comes to proximity mines and things like that they don't really get chosen all that often so even running eod isn't that big deal next up we've got battle hardened and again i think it's a similar thing with battle hardened as well because as you can see the main tactical equipment that's getting used here is heartbeat sensors which i don't know why because they're actually really bad now in my opinion but there is a lot of beginner players who still like to use the heartbeat sensor regardless and now secondary to that is actually stems now stuns actually used to be in the second place but now it's the stems and people just like having that movement available to them with the stem shot so i mean stems and heartbeat sensors are the first two pick tactical equipment so i mean battle harden isn't even all that necessary anymore either so let's get into what i think are the best perks to use inside warzone at the moment and let's start off with perk one category uh, we've got double time now if you know how to slide cancel there's no real need to use double time and the crouch movement speed bonus isn't something that is even worth using inside warzone particularly so double time in my opinion is kind of a waste of time um because only people that have the first couple of perks available to them will use this 
EOD, as I explained before, isn't really going to be all that viable. Now, yes, Sem Semtexes are the main chosen explosive uh, when it comes to this game, but they're not the most powerful explosive. So if you do come up against a lot of RPGs, maybe, then EOD is a good choice. But for the most part, you don't really need EOD, in my opinion. Uh, but if you do like it, it's still a solid perk choice, but I don't think it's in the top three. Serpentine, in my opinion, is still a very good choice, um, and it's definitely in the top three of perk one category. The reason for that is because even if you're tax sprinting, which most people now have auto tax sprint enabled, uh, because they do like to have that better movement speed, you will get that 15% reduction to bullets, which is the main source of fire to most players. So it's still a huge, huge bonus to have when it comes to perks in this game. So Serpentine is definitely in the top three, if not the top one, in my opinion. Scavenger is completely pointless. Resupply and extra ammo, you'll get that anyway. So it's not a big deal. We don't need Scavenger. Not a huge problem there at all. Cold-Blooded is the other perk, in my opinion, that I think is extremely powerful. And that is because it negates Combat Scout. And because Combat Scout is probably the highest picked perk three in the game, you do get a huge, huge advantage over your opponents by not showing up with combat scouts. So again, I think it's a solid choice. Kill Chain, again, is one of those ones where it's completely useless. Finding extra kill streaks when you can buy them from a buy station anyway is kind of pointless, so no real point in that. And then Quick Fix is the third perk, in my opinion, that I think is extremely powerful, and especially after they updated it a while ago, I do think it's a solid choice. When you're playing up, it immediately starts your regen, keeping you alive a lot longer, and also, I think, capturing objectives. If you are playing objective-based game modes like Plunder and stuff, it can be useful there. Now, the perk 2 category, in my opinion, is the most balanced, and that is because there's a lot of good choices in here, especially since Ghost got nerfed. Um, but now what we do have is restocked, and I think this is in the top 3 for perk 2. The reason for that is because having the ability to recharge equipment, especially if you do need certain equipment to help you in gunfights, like stuns or flashes, then this could be extremely powerful, and restocking a stim every 60 seconds is still pretty good, but it keeps it balanced so people are not sitting in the gas for too long, and just constantly stimming and things like that, so overall I do think it's a pretty solid perk, and I do think overall, um, if you are a very aggressive player, this could be very, very valuable. Hardline is kind of pointless, getting a 25% discount off a buy station can help save a game sometimes, but using a whole perk for that, I don't think it's really, really viable in my opinion. Tempered is the second perk where I think this is extremely viable for Warzone and is in the top three for sure. And that is because having the ability to refill armor plates with two instead of three helps out a ton. Now, not only does it help you play up faster, which in certain circumstances, this could be game changing because you're going to play up a lot quicker than opponents. On top of that, it keeps your plates lasting longer as well. So if you're in an end game situation, you can't buy any your plates will last longer. So Temper is just overall a solid perk and I can't believe they never had this in the game earlier. Overkill, and the reason why I'm not going to put Overkill in this list is because, let's be honest, you're always going to pick Overkill as your first class. We're mainly talking about perks that are going to help change gameplay. It doesn't really count. It's a bit of a cop-out perk here, so we won't talk about Overkill too much, but obviously you need this for your first loadout. Then when it comes to higher layer, it's a good choice, but not too great. I don't think it's like the best perk in the game. Uh, it will help in certain circumstances where the footstep audio is pretty trash in this game. But other than that, it's kind of a very niche perk. And Ghost is the other one where I do think is extremely viable for aggressive players. To stay off UAVs is very competitive, but is providing you're moving around the map quite a lot. And if you're pairing this with Serpentine, then it can be a really good perk combination in my opinion and then point man is just kind of pointless to be honest so perk three category is very easy to choose from here because there's not a lot of competitiveness in this category so firstly in terms of perk three if you have tune up i wish this perk actually revived at about 50 percent because that would actually be a solid perk especially if you find yourself reviving teammates quite often then having a reduced revive time by 50% could help an absolute ton. It might change a lot of the perk kind of balancing as well, uh, but right now it's not that great. Amped is definitely a good choice if you are using a rocket launcher or if you're using any two weapons, you'll swap between them very quickly. And that is something that aggressive players will take advantage of, especially if you run out of ammo in one weapon, you can continue firing with the next. So Amped just makes perfect sense and that's definitely the top three for the perk three category. Combat Scout right now is just extremely powerful. It's the most used perk in perk three. So 
I mean, it makes perfect sense to use this because you get see-through walls and obviously it's basically wall hacks for three seconds, so definitely a viable perk, obviously. Shrapnel, completely pointless. Spawn in with an extra piece of lethal equipment and it doesn't actually do anything, let's be honest, because you get two pieces of lethal and tactical equipment in Warzone anyway. So if I give you a third, it would make sense, but it doesn't, so it doesn't even do anything. Then when it comes to battle harden, now is definitely a top three choice for sure because it helps with 80% against stuns and flashes. This will definitely save you in certain gunfights, especially if an enemy flashes you from quite a distance away and the effects are just about to wear off, you could potentially still survive that gunfight. So battle harden, definitely number three. Engineer is kind of a niche thing if you're seeing through walls, hacking equipment and stuff, but people don't really tend to use uh, claymores or prox mines and things like that anyway, so you've not really got much to hack there besides maybe a trophy system. Um, so not really all that viable in my opinion. And then tracker is kind of cool, but again, it's a very uh, small set of circumstances where this becomes extremely viable. So, so there we have it. Those are the best perks inside Warzone right now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe as we try to reach our goal of 50k. Click that link and subscribe to our second channel. Thank you very much for watching.